What's going on guys? Welcome to the first edition of In the Interest of Time. Uh, if you don't get the reference, um, you know, have you ever seen a Microsoft press conference at E3 featuring Call of Duty? I mean, for anybody that knows me, I'm a fan of Call of Duty. That's the perfect name for this show because I'm going to use my notes that I've been taking all week. I'm going to recap the entire week for you guys from all the video game news that's happened in the last week. So here we go. Uh, this was a big week uh, for video game news, but especially for that of Max Payne. Haven't heard of him for a while. Um, you know, nobody really has. But uh, Rockstar and Take-Two made two big announcements this week. The first is that, that uh, Max Payne 1 is going to be coming to... Uh, the mobile consoles, you know, your iPhone, your iPad, pretty much anything mobile. The first good thing about that is it's going to be in full HD. How are they going to do that? I don't know. I can't run any HD programs on my phone. I can barely run apps on my phone. So it is what it is. Uh, another thing it's going to support have full support for wired, wired controllers and it's also gonna have full support for the Rockstar Social Club if you guys don't know what that is it's Rockstar's website that keeps track of all your stats and achievements for everything that's a Rockstar game if you played a Rockstar game and haven't signed up for it go to their website and sign up for it it's a pretty cool service uh, no release date was announced also no price but um, hopefully it's pretty soon and the other big news from Thursday was uh, about Max Payne 3. Haven't heard of that game for a while, have you? Nobody has. Uh, let's see here. They announced that it's going to be coming in March of 2012. Uh, we'll see how long that lasts before it gets delayed again. Uh, it's also going to have a new feature to the series, multiplayer. If you played a Rockstar game in the last couple of years, you know that they're pretty big on multiplayer with this next gen. Uh, games like GTA 4, Red Dead Redemption, can't really count uh, L.A. Noir. That wasn't really a Rockstar game. You know, they just collaborated with Team Bondi on that game. And there's a big controversy going on about that too. Uh, it's really a no-brainer for them to add it to the series. You know. GTA 4 and Red Dead Redemption multiplayer has been top of the charts for their time on Xbox Live. Probably on PlayStation Network as well. Uh, they also stated that a compelling experience that dynamically alters maps and mode progression for all players in a match. Whatever that means. On Wednesday this week, sports fans rejoiced. USA Today reported sales figures for Madden 12 in the first week sold 1.4 million copies. Looking back to last year's debut of Madden 11, 12 saw a 10% increase. Uh, it's good for the series, it's not really good for the people who are tired of playing the exact same game every year at full retail price. Uh, more sales figures were announced this week. DICE announced that Battlefield 3 has already sold has already sold 120, 125 that would be a staggering number 1.25 million pre-orders uh, quite a big jump from that of Battlefield Bad Company 2 you know I mean that game had pretty high pre-orders and that went on to sell 2.3 million in its first month and over 9 million copies have been sold since. So, you know. Battlefield 3 is going to be a big seller for the company. Can't wait for the two big first person shooters that duke it out this fall. Mm. Speaking of another popular first person shooter, Activision, well, Call of Duty, but Activision publishes Call of Duty. And they won the lawsuit to reclaim control over the domain ModernWarfare3.com. Have you heard of that site? Probably not. Uh, for those of you that don't know, 
not too long ago, a Battlefield 3 fan made that website. And it was basically bashing Modern Warfare 3 and linking people to a pre-order for Battlefield 3. And Activision got pretty pissed off. You know? So they sued, and they won the domain. And uh, as of the time of me making this video, the site is offline. But we're sure pretty soon that uh, it's going to link to the official Modern Warfare 3 website. Are you tired of playing Saints Row 1 and 2? If it's not so stellar D DLC, be sure to jump on the bandwagon for the third game. THQ stated on Thursday that it's planning 40 weeks. Take that in for a quick second. 40 weeks of DLC for Saints Row the Third. No word on what the DLC will be or how much it's going to cost. Uh, probably going to do like a season pass thing like a lot of games are doing right now. Uh, maybe details will surface as we get closer to the November 15th launch. Have you been going back to school this year and hearing a lot of your friends talk about that new hit game on the Xbox 360 Marketplace, From Dust? Probably not. No. But if you are, and you are tired of being shunned away for having a PS3, you shall be shunned no longer. I don't even know the name of this developer, but they announced that uh, PS3 was going to be getting the title. Uh, it was going to be coming on September 14th in Europe, and originally the 27th of September in the States. A lot of people just dis disagreed with that. A lot of people complained. Sony bumped up the date to September 13th. So if you didn't want to wait and you complained, good for you, I guess. Uh, more DLC news hit on Thursday. Deus Ex Human Revolution. Have you heard of it? You should have. It's a pretty hit game right now. Uh... Eidos was so glad that the game was a smash hit that they're doing some DLC for it. Yay! They released a trailer for The Missing Link, which will cover three days in-game, during which Jensen loses the use of his cybernetic augmentations. It'll hit next month, and you guys can check out the trailer for it down there. I'll put a link down there to the trailer. It's that good. Speaking of Deus Ex... On Friday morning, Eidos announced that the game has already shipped 2 million copies worldwide. No sales figures, so we don't know how many games were sold, but it was 2 million shipped. You can take your own guess as to which one, you know, how many actually sold. Nothing to be disappointed over for 2 million games shipped. Uh, did you guys see the latest episode of Game Trailers TV? I know I didn't, but on that episode they let it slip that the original Crisis would be coming to the PSN and Xbox Live Arcade. When? This October. It wasn't until hours later in the morning that EA announced it. Uh, it's going to come in at $19.99 or $1,600 Microsoft points, price point points, price point, yeah, that works. Uh, it'll also be remastered and come with 3D. Although I'm not really sure why you have to remaster a game that a lot of PC gamers couldn't even play because this thing was so demanding on the system. Your guys' guess is as good as mine. Uh, some more news on Thursday. Ubisoft announced that the multiplayer beta for Assassin's Creed Revelations will be free to everyone on PlayStation 3. If you haven't got it, get it quick. The beta ends tomorrow, September 11th. No time was given. It just says the beta ends September 11th. So if you haven't got it and you want to try it out before it comes out this November, hurry up and go download it. Crimson Alliance, that RPG-esque, you know, game that impressed 
a lot of people, when it launched over the summer on Xbox 360 Live Marketplace Arcade, try to find the letters for that one. Uh, it launched for the low, low price of free. A free summer of arcade game? Are you serious? No, you're not serious. <laughs> Little did everyone know that downloaded it, but the free game was a mere trial. You have to pay for the three characters. There's three characters in the game. They're 800 points or $10 a piece. Or you can buy all three in a bundle, which I mean you're you can buy them all in a bundle for 1,200 Microsoft points, or $15, which is a steal. You're getting all three characters for half the price if you were to buy them separately. And the game itself is free, so you don't have to pay $10 for the game and then buy the characters. It's a steal if you're into it. I tried it out myself. Uh, I wasn't really feeling it, so sadly it got deleted. Uh, Dead Island. You guys know that game that was supposed to be a huge smash hit with that really cinematic, you know, sadding, sad looking trailer that came out. And it came out and it had a lot of problems. <laughs> it was unplayable on the PC. Uh, day one patches had to come out to fix a lot of the bugs that were going on. But that's the sad part. The good part is it's going to be getting some DLC later this month. Did you pre-order the game? If you did, you're getting the DLC for free. Uh, if you didn't, it's $10 for those of us who didn't pre-order the game and also didn't buy it. Uh, the DLC is called Bloodbath Arena. It adds four new maps. Also in the statement that was released, uh, was the fact that all the cash and XP earned in the DLC will carry over to the main campaign. So if you're looking for a little bit of help, you know, maybe you're not, you don't have any cash, you're kind of low on your XP, you want to level up some more before going any further in the game, get the DLC, level up in there, and then it'll carry over. And the last bit of news this week was this past weekend, actually, and it was... I guess a collaboration, although it was mostly Activision, but Treyarch, Infinity Ward, Sledgehammer Games, they were all there. Uh, they had their big new convention for Call of Duty. Uh, Call of Duty XP was the name of it. Uh, kicked off a two-day event over in LA. I'm pointing that way because I live right next to LA. Uh, new multiplayer details were released for Modern Warfare 3, uh, a lot of which are hope you're going to balance out the game. They're getting rid of a lot of perks, like Last Stand. You know, they're actually listening to the feedback from Modern Warfare 2, which is a good thing, because that game was just unplayable online. Uh, they also showed off the new short film, uh, Fine Makarov, Operation Kingfish. That got a huge ovation from the crowd that was there. Uh, and the people that were there said that the event was just insane. Uh, day one closed with a concert from Dropkick Murphys. The event closed the next day with a performance from Kanye West. So, you know, he think, he's the guy that thinks Beyonce should have won. Uh, they also unveiled a new Xbox 360 Slim console from Modern Warfare 3. Uh, when you push the button to turn the system on, it has, like, sounds from the game. Like, it does that... I can't really do it, but you guys know what I'm talking about. Uh, along with the console, they showed off um, a new controller and a new Bluetooth headset. Didn't really know the Xbox 360 could run Bluetooth. Not sure how that's going to work. Maybe a little USB plug-in for that. Uh, if you guys want to check out more details, I'll put some links down there for you guys. Uh, that's really it for this week. Uh, I want to thank you guys for watching. You know, If you like this video, please like it. Um, you can comment the video, subscribe, that'd be awesome, unless you're already subscribed, and then if you, are, if you already are, thumbs up to you because you're awesome, 
Uh, please be sure to visit our new sponsor. That's something else I forgot to talk about this week. We have a new sponsor. My channel. Uh, you guys can check them out at thedailyrotation.com. I'll put a link in, down below for you guys. Uh, it's the only place you need to go for all the freshest web content that you'll ever need. You got movies, TV shows, video games, uh, I believe music, you know, everything you guys want, it's there. And if it's not there, tell us and we'll put it there. How about that? That's fan support. Uh, so that's it for this week. I'll see you guys next week with the next episode of In the Interest of Time.